Hello world, it's Vady and welcome back to my channel! So I really missed making videos and yeah, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button down below so, and also that bell icon so that you will be notified every time that I post a video. So for today's video, we will be discussing more on senior high, my experiences in senior high, you know, because I was inspired to make this video because there were comments on my last video. So if you haven't watched my last my last last video, subjects of a computer science student, I will just leave the link down below or at, at the cards here or here in the pause night. So so yeah. So please watch that video, you know. Um, questions like kailangan ba ng laptop sa senior high and if kailangan ng laptop, anong magandang laptop and stuff like that. And also, may isa pang question, STEM or ICT ang maganda, kung ano bang mas maganda sa kanila for computer science sa college. So, yun ang pag-usapan natin ngayon. That's why I was inspired to make this video din. So, in this video, I will be discussing my subjects in senior high, my strand, where did I go to senior high, did my subjects in senior high help me is in my college course, computer science. So, yun ang pag-uusapan natin today. So, first of all, if you're new to my channel, I am a BS computer science student at the University of the Philippines, Mindanao. I just graduated last year from senior high and as I said, I'll discuss where did I study for senior high and I studied at Ateneo de Davao University Senior High School and there are three strands in Ateneo de Davao in case you're interested in studying there. There's uh, Humes, Humanities and Social Sciences, ABM, Houndance, Business and Management, and also STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. There are three strand, sub-strands that you can choose from in STEM. Pre-engineering and architecture, pre-computer studies, and pre-science. And because I wanted to be a computer science major in college, I chose pre-computer studies as my specialization for my senior year. And as I promised you guys, I will also discuss the subjects that I took up for STEM pre-computer studies. Hanapin ko lang yung subjects ko sa phone ko kasi <laughs> ang tagal na nun, so... Yes, I'll discuss grade 11 and grade 12 with them. Okay, so I'll first discuss grade 11. So, my subjects were general mathematics, philosophy, PE, Filipino, reading and writing skills, theology, media and information literacy, leadership development program, 21st century literature, personal development, understanding society, culture, and politics, disaster readiness, and risk reduction, earth in the earth science. So, yun yung mga subjects ko for grade 11. So, ilalagay ko na lang sa screen. Actually, exam ang <laughs> exam schedule ang tinignan ko para sa subjects ko kasi wala na ako schedule ng subjects ko. Na-delete ko ata sa phone ko or nasa hard drive ko. So, yun. So, so general mathematics, we discussed about general mathematics, you know, and philosophy. I loved, I loved our philosophy class, you know, man's search for meaning. So, for PE, PE. Tapos Filipino, we also discussed Filipino, reading and writing. We made a magazine, yeah, magazine or mini booklet doon. Tapos theology, 21st century literature, you know, Mindanao literature, we discussed more. Mindanao and also Philippine literature. And then personal development, understanding society, culture, and politics, disaster readiness and risk reduction. So we discussed more on TRRM, how to how to perform first aid. Tapos, how to perform first aid, what should we do in case of an earthquake, fire, you know, that sort of stuff, and it really helped me in knowing what to do during times of emergency instead of panicking. So, yeah, so let's proceed to my grade 12 subjects. So, my subjects in grade 12 naman are PE, Empowerment Technology, General Chemistry, Programming Logic, General Physics, Fundamentals of Object-Oriented Programming, OOP, Biology, Multimedia Arts, Theology, Entrepreneurship, 
joke lang, wala yung theology grade 11 pala yun, sorry. Uh, basic calculus, so yeah, that's my subjects during grade 12. And I'll discuss the subjects, especially yung mga nakatulong sa akin sa computer science. But actually, all of them helped me as a person to learn more about myself, to learn more, more about my society. And also, uh, sa course ko, it also helped me, especially my majors. It helped me adjust in college, you know. So, the first subject that I want to discuss is empowerment technology. Environment technology discusses about Word, you know, basics, Word, spreadsheet, PowerPoint, and my favorite part of empowerment technology is our final project, which is a lyric video. We made a lyric video in PowerPoint. It was tiring, but it was worth it, and it was fun because it released all of my creative juices. So, yeah. So, the second is programming logic. You know, I'll discuss more on the subjects that are related to computer science. So, programming logic really helped me, really aided in my learning sa college because we discussed about pseudocodes and flowcharts during senior high and little did I know sa computer science kung course that was one of the first lessons that we discussed and I really appreciate it na it was already taught in senior high so mas makaka-adjust kami in terms of pseudocode and flowcharting, you know, that diamond decision blocks and so yeah, start and stop and stuff like that. So it really helped me. That subject really helped me in college. So our next subject is OOP or Object Oriented Programming. So yeah, we were taught about. And you know what? Talaga programming. You know, pero yung pero before programming, it's also related to basics of programming. You know, tungo lu sa min. And also. Ang next is entrepreneurship. It helped me to see the business side of things, you know, balancing in how to establish a business, especially make a business plan. Because as a computer science student, I hindi ko lang kailangan matuto about programming, but also the business side of it, how to establish a business, how to attract customers, how to sell an app, and stuff like that. You know, those were taught. In Senior high and I really appreciate it. Hi, Sir Eric. So, so ang next naman is basic calculus. Okay, in college, computer science is not just about programming, but it's also about mathematics and discrete mathematics. You know, the the math needed for computer science, and and I appreciate. And I really appreciate that we, that basic calculus was taught to us in senior high, you know, derivatives and the integrals and yeah, we did discuss the namin yung sa college and yeah, those those are the subjects that also helped me transition from senior high to computer science in college, my major. So yeah, so to answer your questions, you know, the comments in my previous video. Do I need a laptop in senior high? And my answer for that is no. I think no because in my school, we were already provided computers in campus because we can't go out during school hours, even in break. So yeah, there naman kami computers doon that we can use and also Wi-Fi if we had our own laptops. Even if I had my own laptop, I normally bring it to school whenever we had presentations or if can worry for homeworks and stuff like that and have break times i do it to school and in our computer laboratory so if you already have computers in school i think you don't need a laptop already in senior high but if you do need a laptop i think i suggest buying gaming laptops or apple then because they're heavy duty also and you can use it for college and it's very good for programming also you know because it's heavy duty and stuff like that the second question that i got is stem or ict for computer science i honestly don't have much knowledge about ict because i took up stem science technology engineering and mathematics for pre-computer studies and all i can say is that my strand helped me in my college course today which is stem in my school it really helped me start in transitioning to college i hope my answers answered your question so thank you for watching this video and see you in another video i think my next video will be a live update video you know why i wasn't uploading for the past few months you know 
ano mga pinanggagawa ko and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And comment down below if you have any more questions and I'll be happy to answer it. So God bless guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.